Okay. Und so korrigiert die Sachen, sehe ich nicht, wo ich mir eine Switch auf. Wo ist die Aufgabe? Das ist die Aufgabe. Brilliant, no problem. Hi, my name is Miss Lockie. I'm going to be interviewing you today. Uh, will you first state your name and uh, for us? Um, my name is Gorman. I'm currently a uh, year 12 BTEC international student okay. studying in KD5. Thank you. So it's Gorman, your surname is? Uh, Cam. Cam, okay. Thank you, Gorman. Um, so just tell us firstly a bit about why you might be um, interested in this position that you've applied for. I'm currently interested in mm -hmm. how the tech sales and exports, how they work in the company. Mm -hmm. So by working here, I might have an initiative and maybe gain a personal insight on how it's like, whether I will apply for this job in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you want to gain experience in um, understanding a bit more about the import and, export and exports and how um, the company might work. Okay, good. Um, so, what kind of qualifications uh, do you have that might help you um, in performing within the role? I think that I'm good with people. I can work well with groups of people and when it is necessary, necessary I can work independently okay um so but i'm asking you about qualifications, oh, qualifications though so what kind of qualifications do you have that would help you to perform in this role i'm currently studying the business diploma i have an insight on how the business works mm -hmm. and i have a sustainable knowledge on the subject. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then my next question was actually going to be um, more about what kind of skills do you already have that you could bring to this position. So maybe just highlight a few of the skills that you currently have that you want to, you think you could use in this job role. I think that I can use So, give you one of them. Earlier you said that you could work in a gr different groups of, you were good at working with groups of people? Yes. Okay, so that's one of them. Okay. Um, what other kind of skills do you have? I can apply the knowledge from the work, into, from, mm -hmm. from my knowledge and apply it to the work that's needed. To mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what else do you think you might, um, in have in terms of skills. I mean, how can how how else might you use your skills that you have to help you in the job that you're going to be doing or possibly be doing? So you said you you also can be independent. You said. Yes. Tell us about that. Only during uh, when I have a deadline that's due in, I could I normally maximize my capabilities in working mm -hmm. independently mm -hmm. because I think that it works better for me because mm -hmm. I have more of a focus mm -hmm. working independently rather than in groups. Okay, okay. And um, what would you say were your main strengths? Main strengths, I think personally and perhaps working with people and applying knowledge to, the, to my work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Because you have mentioned those already. What other strengths might you have? No, no other strengths? No. Okay. Um, okay then. And what would you say would be some of the cha your challenges? Challenges? Probably the only challenge I think that some of the work might not fit up to the qualification standard mm -hmm. if I do not organize my time well. Okay, so so in this case we're talking about your personal challenges. Yes. So what do you find personally, what do you find challenging then? Sometimes I find it challenging to work in very short deadlines. Mm -hmm. And I might rush 
brush my work, mm -hmm. which may not reach up to the standard. Okay. To the standards. Okay. So you're saying that um, with maybe deadlines can be can be difficult. Yes. So what, why in that case, what, why do you think deadlines are difficult? What makes them difficult um, for you? It takes time for me to organize mm -hmm. every information that I will mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. for my work. Mm -hmm. I normally take a few steps forward in mm -hmm. organizing mm -hmm. and then start working. Okay, good, okay. Um, and if some, if a teacher was to describe you in just two words, could you um, pick out those two words that, that a teacher would use to describe you? Positive words. Positive. Two positive things. Organized and mm -hmm. hard work. Okay. And good. And um, so tell us why should I employ you for this role then? What is going to um, make what well, yeah, exactly. Why should I employ you? Then? I think that I might have potential in working in this industry. Mm-hmm. Still young and, mm -hmm. and have, I can expand my knowledge and po possibly use my knowledge in applying my work here. Okay, good, good, good. And um, what would you have? Uh, you've also talked about in your CV that you've had some past experience um, in a work placement in year 10? Yes. Good, okay. Um, was there anything in that work experience that you think would be um, useful? What kind of maybe skills that you learned that you could bring to the, the job in this Probably new job here? Probably just organizing and applying, applying information onto the work. So what, what, what did you do? So that was something that you I, did in your old yes. placement? Yes. So Okay. So in your other work placement, you were able to do what there that um, might help you with this job? For my previous work placement, most of the time I just organize files. Good. Files and okay. teach okay. children. Okay. So organizing files, so yes. is that going to be, you know, do you think that you can bring that to this new role? This yes, new I think I can bring that to, to this new role. Okay, good. And, um, Good. Okay. And are there any particular questions that you would like to find out about uh, the pos pos the position? Currently, no. I do not have any questions for the current position. Okay. Okay. Then great. Well, thank you, Gorman. Um, thank you for coming to attend this interview today, and um, we will should be giving you some feedback in due course. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, if.